In our last video, we talked about what the fund manager for a 2x long levered ETF has to do to be able to promise his investors twice the daily returns of the underlying. So I've put the diagram showing what the fund manager does on this graph over here in front of you in the top section. And so if you remember, if we gave the fund manager $100, he would take that $100 and borrow another $100 to get his net S&P 500 exposure up to long $200. And then the next day, if the market went up by, let's say, 10%, as we had assumed, that would mean that the manager would have to buy an extra $20 worth of S&P 500s. And the reason he has to buy this extra $20 worth of S&P 500 is to ensure that we are 2 to 1 levered at the end of day 1 and therefore in the right position to be able to get twice the return of the S&P 500 on day 2. So then on day 2 when we assume that the underlying went down by 10% that meant that the manager had to sell some of his S&P 500 about $24 worth to get him in position such that he could promise us twice the returns of the S&P 500 on day three. Now the obvious question is, is how is all this different than buying the underlying and just levering it up two to one? And so over here on the bottom, we've shown what happens if you just take $100 and then borrow another $100 and buy the S&P 500. And so we can see that over here. Here's your original $100. Here's $100 you borrow. Here's your exposure at the end of day zero. And so far, it's exactly the same as if you had bought a 2x long levered ETF. The next day, the S&P 500 goes up by 10%. So our $200 is now worth $220. This is also the same as if you had bought a 2x long levered ETF. However, if you're two times levered yourself, you don't do anything subsequently. You just sit on your position and you wait for the market to move one way or the other. And so on day two, when the market goes down by 10%, your $220 becomes worth $198. So the real difference between buying the 2x long levered ETF and just levering up the underlying yourself is that you don't do this intermediate step over here of basically buying more S&P 500s. And the same is true on day two. While the ETF manager has to sell some of his underlying, if you're 2x levered yourself, as we can see down here, you don't do anything. You just sit on your position. And so the point is, if you buy the underlying with 2 to 1 leverage, you typically don't do this whole thing that the ETF manager does where he is buying more of the underlying if the price goes up and selling some of the underlying if the price goes down. And so the point is, what will determine the difference between the payoff of holding a 2x long levered ETF over several days and just levering up the underlying on your own is the profitability of this constant buying if the underlying goes up and selling if the underlying goes down. If doing that is profitable, then the payoff of this 2x long levered ETF will be greater than the payoff of just 2x levering yourself. However, if the profitability of buying when the price goes up and selling when the price goes down is negative, meaning if you lose money doing that, this 2x long levered ETF will return less than just 2x levering yourself. So the next question is, under what circumstances is buying the underlying when its price goes up and selling the underlying when its price goes down unprofitable? And if we think about it for a second, we realize that it's unprofitable if we buy the underlying and then the price subsequently goes down and we sell the underlying and the price subsequently goes up. And so if the price of the underlying is moving something like this, we might expect to lose money buying when the price goes up and selling when the price goes down. And the reason why is because over here when the price goes up, we would buy and then the price would subsequently go down, causing us to sell, and then the price would go up, causing us to buy, and so we're always unprofitable on each trade we're doing. Every time we buy, the price goes down. Every time we sell, the price goes up. So if the underlying is moving like this, we would expect to lose money. And in fact, when we look at our scenario over here, we assume that on day one, the price of the S&P 500 went up by 10%, and on day two, the price of the S&P 500 went down by 10%.
And you'll notice that at the end of day two, our original $100 that we had put in the 2x long levered ETF was worth $96. Whereas if we had 2x levered ourselves, our $100 would be worth $98. And so in this scenario where we've assumed this path for the S&P 500, the 2x long levered ETF underperforms 2x levering yourself over this two-day horizon. In the next video, we'll look at this in more detail and examine other factors that will give you an intuition for why holding a 2x long or short levered ETF will sometimes underperform just levering the underlying yourself.